All right, we're going to skip the uh, the music intro um, tonight because uh, there seems to be some issues with XSplit and music and some of the things until we up get up some uh, upgrades done um, on the station and uh, a couple of the broadcast settings. Um, we're just going to start with it live, no music, and just start with the introductory. And by the time it gets uh, up and going, we'll start uh, getting things up in, you know, broadcast. Welcome to tonight's uh, <clears throat> broadcast of the Warrior Wallet. I'm your host, George Pardos. Uh, welcome to the Veteran Radio Syndicate family of shows. And tonight's special, or tonight's episode, is not going to be long. We're only going to cover about uh, 20 minutes, um, half hour. We usually run an hour, but um, what we're going to do for the first part of the show is we're going to cover some of the COVID-19 scams that have begun and some FYI on them. So for all of those that, and I will tell you one of the reasons why. A lot of people are now, they're doing what's called work from home. They're working from the house, and as a result, they don't have the IT department that is as strong as they normally would if they were at the office. You know, so a lot of people are working from home. A lot of people are just staying, you know, you know, quarantine in place. Um, and as a result, they're logging on to doing work that they would normally be in the office who, you know, are running through a server, router, anything that, that has some security. So n now these ones don't. So I want to talk about the first few scams that have arisen and what to be on the lookout for. One of the very first scams that has come out is there are people... Um, dressed up in, uh, you know, medical gear that are walking around houses and they are basically uh, doing home uh, checks, um, home COVID, you know, uh, the, you know, the coronavirus is checks and they're charging like $300 for the check, you know, for the exam. And then what they do is they have a sample what it, what they look like is they have a lab coat um they have you know some cotton swabs and um the i don't know what you want to call them, the test tube lock lock kits and you know they, they swab you and it costs three hundred dollars they take your information there, there's two parts to the scam on this one is they're getting you to give them money um, the money part of it is, is the first part that they're giving you. The, but the second part of it is that they're collecting information on you and they look like professional healthcare workers. Now, they, this has happened in Florida. It's happened in some other parts of the United States. So that's one of the first ones to be on the lookout for. Um, and this is, and I will say this, this is a trying time for a lot of Americans because, again, they're locked in, you know, they're quarantined in place, they're locked at home, they, you know, they don't have the support that they normally have, and people will prey on it. I mean, and, and, and that is really a shitty thing to do, is to do something like this. So be careful of, no one is going to give you a, a home test for COVID-19. They don't, you know... Those tests in the first place take about three to five days for it to, you know, to process, let alone having somebody walk up and down the street with it. It's just not it happening. So that's one of the first ones that has come out. Number two is they're walking around, and again, this isn't just in one isolated place. You know, I'm going to throw up a, a picture here in a second. The, the second one that they're doing, now, th this is a little bit more complicated, but again, it, it, is, it is preying on people's fears, and this is what is causing, I mean, this is what's causing them to do this. Um, they're, they're selling fake gear, and um, not only fake gear, but fake protective gear and, and fake treatments. As of today, there is not one single vaccine to, or a vaccine or a treatment that is that will fix COVID-19. You have to go to a hospital. Um, and if you get it, if you get on a ventilator, if you get on some, you have a high chance of surviving. 
Uh, people that are on ventilators will survive about twenty, uh, about seventy-five to eighty percent of the time. That's a real number. But there, you know, if if somebody comes around offering you, you know, I don't know, say colloidal silver or any of that, that is one of the scams that they're they're doing. One of the guys in um, in Arizona drank hydrochloroquine, um, which is a pool cleaner version of it, and he died. So again, be careful about. What, what people are selling you because, as again, if people are trying to sell you the pain, there's usually a pill right by it. Now, the next one um, is a little bit more complicated, but I will start, um, I will break it down a little bit. You get a text. Now, the first text is, it looks like a text from um, what's called the emergency response team. Now, if you are in, in, in certain parts of the U.S., and this is in um, um, this has begun this has begun in parts of the U.S., um, Manhattan, and, and some of there, New York has what is called a um, a emergency response team. So I've got to fix one thing, but you know, keep. Uh, um, I'll be right back. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I've just got to start a uh, uh, start the uh, part of the broadcast. Hold on. So we'll be back up in one second. Hold on. Um, and uh, all right, we're back. Um, sorry about that. So anyway, um, so the next one is you have there's an equivalent um, to something like the um, the amber alert. And part of the, you know, part of the, the, um, part of the, the, the response goes that you get a text from it. And once you get the text, they are, um, uh, hold on a second. Let me see if that's, um. Um, part of it has a, a response, and if you get a text from it, um, can somebody in the comments say if you can hear me or not, um, and just let me know that you guys are uh, open to, you know, that you can hear it. Anyway, in, in the you get a text scam, and it's from the emergency response team, and part of it is that it um, it captures your your phone data. And part of it is because when it, it captures your phone data, um, they they can it, it installs basically a virus on your phone to catch um, um, it, it captures a virus that acts as a phishing scam on your phone, and that is one of the problems. So if you get a text from it's not a reputable source. Don't you know? Don't open it. Don't click on the link. Don't do any of the things that it's asking you to do. Now, one of the other thing is it's asking for donations. So there's a scam going around. The the other scam that's going around out there is you get a, a scam that looks like a professional um, highlight of the whatever you know whatever you want to call it. Um, asking for Corona. Uh, there's one Corona for the troops. There's another one for um, that was started by um, that is by uh, what's his name um, the the guy um, from not the Red Cross, but anyway, one of the one of the scams is also that it's asking you for donations to give uh, to buy protective gear for first responders. That's one of the scams. Do not fall for it. It is absolutely a horrible, it, you know, it's a horrible scam, and you will get, you know, it, and it's it just a, a way to capture money. This, the third one that is that is going around, and because part of it is people are on hard times, is the aid money claims. 
So far, across just in England alone, they had one point seven billion dollars fishing in this, and basically, it is saying that you know uh, the the British government or the United States government has you know because with the Corona uh, bill, people are going to get money, and so the aid money claims is they send you an email. And what it tells you to, to go in and say, listen, um, we're going to give you, there's a $3,500 grant. Um, like the state of Ohio, I, I'll give you an example why this is so effective and why people are falling for it. In the state of Ohio, there's a grant for businesses and especially restaurants because restaurants are getting very hit. The, the grant works like this. You upload or you give them the, the state of Ohio you give them um, your receipts and your rent and everything for for the three months, and what they'll do is they'll write you a check for the rent and for the the money that you owe them. I, I mean, the money you owe your landlords and your utility companies, which could be, you know, five thousand, sixty five hundred a month. And there are and there are legitimate um, organizations and they're legitimate that are um, giving you this. So again, it is just um, it is just a um, uh, you know it, it's people are taking advantage of others. So again, if I if I say this that you know be careful out there, this is some of the stuff that they're doing. And one of the the things that uh, 